everybody. It's Deb from d, d Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 16 gallery wrapped canvas. Um, I've put down a layer of Liquitex Basics Gold as my base coat and I'm going to be doing a swipe. And let's go over the balance of my paints. Uh, my swipe color is going to be Handmade Modern uh, Daffodil. And this is the brand that is made at Target, a department store in our area. I really like this paint. My next color is a combination of burnt sienna and silver. Burnt sienna and silver, Arteza. The next color is a combination of gold and burnt umber. So here's the gold and the burnt umber from Arteza. My next color is the phalo blue and silver. Combination of those. My next color is combination of silver and black. And I'd like to give a shout out to Kathleen Osmore of Cause Creations. I watch a lot of Kathleen's uh, channel, that's COZ Cause Creations, for um, this combination of paints. She has been experimenting with paints and come up with a lot of these really nice combinations. And my last color is all Arteza. I have pale green, pearl lime green, and phalo green. I mix those three together to make a very nice combination. And I'm gonna move my paints out of the way here. And my pouring medium today is two parts Floetrol, one part Liquitex um, gloss medium and varnish. A squirt of GAC 800 is added to all the paints. The only paint that I added silicone to was one drop of the Montmartre silicone in my swipe color, the daffodil yellow. And let's go over consistency here. Leaves a mound, but just, it disappears right away. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, so let's get started just layering the colors down. Oh, before I start, I wanted to tell you about this little gadget that I ordered on Amazon, I believe. It's a little cap a strainer cap that you can buy that fits right on the um, the Floetrol bottles, either the smaller bottle like this or the bigger bottles of Floetrol, and it screws right on and it works. It's wonderful. You just have to remember to wash it after every use. And I know that we all have to um, strain our Floetrol, so that just makes it much, much easier. So we'll get started layering the colors now. Just gonna do a swipe from the middle out. And this is that combination of the black and the silver here. Whoops. And this is the, the phalo blue and silver. By adding that silver, it just gave them a very pretty shine to them. And I'm going to go with my green. The combination of the three green colors that I just told you about. And next I'm going to go with the, let's see, the Burnt Sienna.
and I'm going to go with the burnt umber. These are such pretty colors. Excited to see what the results is like. You just see the shine in that paint. Let's go with the black again. And while I'm laying my paints down, I want to give another shout out to Marcy of Mixed Media Girl. And she does have another cha uh, channel named The Business of Art. If you, She's really got a lot of, lot of good videos under The Business of Art if you're trying to start a YouTube channel or Facebook. A lot of good tips. Anyway, I watched her video, one of her videos yesterday, and she was talking about what as artists can we do to help people through this coronavirus crisis that we're having. And she mentioned that we could do as many videos as possible. So for people at home that normally have to go to work or people at home with their children, just something to give them to watch and keep their mind occupied. And I agree totally. I think that's just one way that, that we can help people out. So I wanted to give a shout out to Marcy for that idea. It's just one small way that that we can help our fellow man out here. So I will try and post as many videos as possible over the next couple of weeks. And I know that is tough for some people that are still working and to find the time to do that. And I think I will just finish with this last brown color here. So another thing too is if you really like this video and you know of another person you think that would have the time now to watch it and would enjoy it, share it then. And here's my swipe color. I'm going to give it a just a light line there. Okay, and I have my swipe tool here. And I'll give a another shout out to Jilly Cube. Um, this she calls this her Swifty Swipe. And I've made one like like she has. And we'll just give it a try here. You just want to put light pressure. And if you remember, I saying I me saying that I just added one one drop of the Montmartre silicone. Okay, just going to tip it a little bit here. And I'm going to do this other side.
I found that Montmartre silicone to be very, very reactive, and that's why I only added the one drop. You can see all the cells that it's creating here. That in combination with the Floetrol. And I'm just going to use, I have a little card here. I'm just going to use that and get these few spots. Okay. And now I'm going to do some torching. And now I'm going to do a little bit of tipping back and forth. I'm going to bring that paint over the edges here. Just a little bit. I'm going to cover my edges here. And now I'll tip it this way. And bring it back. I'm going to tip it a little more. See if I can get some over the edge. Bring it back this way, tip it a little more. Okay, I'm gonna cover my edges here. Clean off the edge here a little bit. it looks different that on this this end of my painting I have the bigger cells and I have the smaller ones here and I think what I'm going to do is just take my my stick here and I'm just going to run some of this black through it and clean it off after every time I do And I'm going to go this other way with it also. I just like to add a little bit more for the eye to look at here.
Okay, I like the look of that. And I'm going to give it another torch. And I'm going to get you down for a close-up. You can tell me what you think, and I'll tell you the areas that I like. I am glad that I used that yellow as my swipe color. Just brighten this painting up. Okay, we have the upper left hand corner. You can see some of that shine come through, hopefully. Some interesting cells there. I like how the yellow is in between all of these cells. Very pretty in there. Very interesting cells. And this is the lower left-hand corner. And I'm going to bring you up the middle here. This is where I was telling you I'm just getting the bigger cells down here at the bottom of the painting. And it's real busy here in the middle. I think there's just a lot of cute little cells here. And then the, this is the upper right hand corner here. Again, it gets a lot busier towards the middle. And then here is the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Share. Make sure you hit the bell and choose all so you'll know the next time that I do post a new video. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.